sandy beaches and vast landscapes in the Caribbean, from crystal clear waters and mega diverse coral reefs to the pristine tropical rainforests deep within the island itself. This is the story of Lesser Antilles Pink Toad Tarantula, Caribena versicolor, and the chance for you to escape your daily life for a few minutes and join us on this nature adventure. Deep within the jungle of the Caribbean island, the vast evergreen flora is apparent. Following the river streams into the mesophyll forest, one of many waterfalls showcased the tranquility and peacefulness of these wildlife sanctuaries. In this pristine environment, the freshly hatched tarantula is up for a stroll across the rocks. The synchronous leg movement using leg 1 and 3, together with 2 and 4, makes the stroll of the tarantula immensely satisfying to watch. Being that far away from its typical habitat, the protective leaves of bromeliad plants is quite uncommon for the little spider. The young, still blue-colored tarantula hides in its webbing during daytime and waits for insects to pass by during the night. It's a true ambush predator of the animal kingdom. A couple of months later, the coloration is starting to change and so has its appetite. The color red comes into play, the abdomen, Part of its rear legs slowly gets covered with red sea tail. The now juvenile Caribbean versicolor is easily tricked with a stick imitating an insect so he or she can prey upon. Speaking of the color red, these red flowers of Tsingi Berekae, the ginger family, are the reason for the name of the island. Madinina in the indigenous Caribbean language stands for Island of Flowers. The common name of the tarantula gets now another meaning, having the bright red coloration as adult specimens, which you later will be seeing in this video. Garibena versicolor was firstly described by Valkaner in 1837 as Mugal versicolor. But Mugal versicolor was used to be a female from Guadeloupe and a male from Brazil. So the syntype material is composed of two different species as the male originating from Brazil is a different species hence it caused taxonomic problems that lasted for years. The researcher Koch in 1842 followed Walkener but formally extended the species distribution range to Brazil. Just a few years later, the same author transferred this species to the genus Lasiodora. This taxonomic problem, while the male being a member of the subfamily Terraphosinae and the female specimen clearly was from the arboreal subfamily Avicularinae, based on the original male description of Versicolor, the Aranonus male specimen for Brazil, a new genus called Homeoma, was created by Osserer in 1871 with a single species, Homeoma versicolor. Years later, in 1881, the British arachnologist Picard Cambridge explicitly considered the concepts of Mugal versicolor from Koch and Valkaner to be different from each other just to find out that the French arachnologist Simon in 1892 was aware of the brightly colored blue and red arboreal tree bird-eating tarantula which was present on the island of Martinique, therefore mostly ignoring the proposed changes of this species into the genus Homeoma and just considered Homeoma strandlingi as the new type species 
of the genus Homeoma. Fukushima and Bertani designated a neotype in 2017 in order to preserve the name, stability and its usage, but at the same time granting it to a new placement in a newly established genus for the Avicolarine subfamily from the Lesser Antilles called Caribena, home to Caribena laeta from Puerto Rico and Caribena versicolor from Martinique. The name versicolor refers to the changing colors over time or just simply multiple colors present. Ontogenetic pattern change meaning that they start off as a blue spider and gain red hairs over time with each molting cycle until fully turning red as an adult specimen while keeping the bluish green carapace. This video would not have been possible without our good friend and fellow tarantula enthusiast Philip Samadi from World of Spiders. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching through his videos on YouTube and scrolling through pictures on his website. The Lesser Antilles pink toad tarantula has, alongside its sister species Caribina laeta, differently shaped urticating hairs of the type 2. The urticating hairs of Caribina versicolor are much longer and slender than the ones from other species of Avicularia and therefore perfectly suited for its airborne defense mechanism. Scientific literature provides evidence that Caribena versicolor is the only Avicularine tarantula known who actively flicks their urticating hairs much as a terrestrial tarantula from the Americas. A unique feature of this arboreal tarantula and certainly something to take note of that these special urticating hairs form a conspicuous patch dorsally on the abdomen much like the urticating hair patch of Gramostola or Homeoma species. Caribina versicolor is probably one of the most commonly kept arboreal tarantulas in the hobby. Adults exhibit the metallic green shimmering carapace, the abdomen and legs are reddish pink in color, juveniles are beautifully colored blue and exhibit the dark transverse pattern on the opistosoma, which is also known as the Christmas tree pattern. Back into the pristine part of the rainforest, present on the northern area of the island of Martinique, giant trees are needed to finally reveal the beauty of full-grown Lesser Antilles pink toe tarantulas. Fully grown females of Caribena versicolor reach a body length of about 5 to 6 cm or around 6 inches in diagonal leg span. Females, however, can mate much earlier and are thus earlier in adult. It can be assumed that females which have passed the change from juvenile coloration, from the completely blue to adult coloration, are considered adult and can be mated accordingly. So it is possible that the male is a little bit bigger than the female during the mating. The mating is relatively simple and usually peaceful, so if the mating was successful, the female builds a cocoon relatively quickly and the duration of the cocoon is depending on the temperature. In around 7 to 8 weeks, the spiderlings of the cocoon will hatch and it contains between 80 and 150 young Caribena versicolor. 
Caribe versicolor, or the lesser Antilles pink toe tarantula, inhabits large parts of Martinique, especially the north. Martinique is an island of the Lesser Antilles and lies between the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. With a length of 73 km and a width of 39 km, it has a 350 km coastline. The climate in Martinique can be described as tropical, thus there is no predominantly humid climate in the rainy season. From June to October, 200 to 300 mm of water fall per month and the relatively constant annual temperature of around 25 degrees Celsius cause as the humidity to raise sharply, especially in the north. So in the months from November to May, it is a lot drier, although it still rains on an average 80 to 100 millimeters per month. Between June and November, cyclones occur more often in the region. The natural mating season appears to be in March, while the young spiderlings hatch from the egg sac in May or June of the same year. The team of bird spiders the age is eagerly waiting to head back into the field in search of known and unknown tarantulas for the sole reason of documentation and research. Wish us luck and stay tuned while subscribing to the channel or join our newsletter on the website itself. Thanks for watching, stay healthy and spread awareness about these truly magnificent tarantulas on our planet.